But hello, Bernard here, and I'm here to talk about this live action that is going to be brand new in the, that's going to make from Walt Disney Pictures, and it's going to be in theaters. The move, the live action movie in Walt Disney is going to be The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Oh yes. The, in the years past, in 1996, the year when I was born, they made it animated The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Yep. And now there's going to be a live action that, that is going to come up soon. And no matter what year what is, it's going to come soon. And as soon as they, that's somebody who's a writer that's going to write The Hunchback of Notre Dame in live action. It's a musical and a family and also romantic. Yes. Okay, here we go. What's in the, happening in the beginning, middle, and in the end? Okay, here we go. So, and Gypsy's sneaking into France, of Paris, to trying to make some money to to for something like that. Well, um. The the baby of the of a child, um, Claude Frollo, uh, saw uh, a baby was crying, and then he picked him up and and looked at his face, a baby, a monster. <gasps> oh, he he when he was surprised to see that coming. As was well he about to throw him on the well, the the archdeacon of the bells of Notre Dame. I mean, of the Notre Dame, the church. He would not allow Claude Frollo to, to throw him away in the well. He would not allow that to happen. He told him that, that he, he could raise the child, care for the child, raise him on, the, on his own. The spot that, that the baby will be, up in the bell tower. Yep, but he agreed. And he gave the child a cruel name. The Hunchback of Notre Dame it's gonna be Quasimodo. Oh yeah, Quasimodo is a is a good character name. Yep. All right. The next day that Quasimodo grew up and and he he talked to his friends the gargoyles, and he been talking talking about he he looked outside and and see they're setting up the festival that they're about to go on for that day today and so he talking about going up there going down there to have some fun but maybe he tired of watching him from a watching the festival he he wanted to get involved by going out and out and about where the humans are right so Quasimodo wanted to ask uh, Claude Frodo to go, but but he'll be feel he'll be uh, furious if he has to, if I, if he asked him that, that he wants to go, but so Claude Frodo told tell him that um he would not allow him to leave the tower. How will he protect him as long as he stays in that tower? So. Mm hmm. So he don't care what he has to say. Well, so this is why he tell him. Remember, Quasimodo, this is your sanctuary. Hmm. But, oh wow. Hmm hmm. So when he left, so he he got an idea. He can just sneak out of the the bell tower and go to the festival. Well, Frollo's gone. So uh, um, Quasimodo sneaked out of the bell tower and went down the, down from the tower, tower and, and reached the ground. So, so all the, all the parades and everything and and shows and everything, and it is all good. So he saw this. 
gypsy woman. Her name is Esmeralda. She is a beautiful gypsy woman in the world doing her like a uh, performing on the stage. And she, she's with magic. So, and let's see. And she got a goat named Jolly. That's, that's his, I mean, that's her pet goat. Yeah, that's about right. And, and, and then she saw Quasimodo and she said, by the way, great mask. And boom. <laughs> and that made Quasimodo smile on, her, on his face. So they, as they about to take the mask, mask, they found out that it wasn't a mask. It was Quasimodo, the hunchback. And then they they unchained they chained him up and and he threw his something at food and water and drinks and that thing at him and uh they knew he was he was ugly but they did not know he was that ugly but Quasimon had disobeyed Frollo when the rain stopped when the rain started he went back inside the bell tower poor thing. He thought he could have some fun, but it went hard. He think that the people are humiliated him. But Quasimodo is not a bad guy. He's a good guy and he's friendly. And he's a, he's a nice, nice hunchback, not a bad guy. The only villain there that is gonna be Claude Frollo at the end of that. So, so the, the next day, um, well, uh, Quasimodo saw that Esmeralda came. So in the rainstorm, be, before that happens, Phoebus, the captain of the soldiers, he saw that it was somebody that's going inside the bell tower, but he wanted to find out who it was. So, Esmeralda sneaked inside the the Notre Dame, and the Jolly what was with is still with her. Sneak inside. Well. He's seen that the whole sanctuary is beautiful. The whole thing looked around. Yeah. And then Phoebus followed her inside. But. So the Phoebus followed her inside and then he, he caught up with her. And so, um. Well, the Frollo came around and he, and he, he told Phoebus to arrest her, but he cannot arrest her. Uh, Esmeralda claims sanctuary and there's nothing he can do. And, the, and Arch, Arch Deacon, Archdeacon stopped him too. And he, he, he said this, Frollo, you will not touch her. Esmeralda, the gypsy woman, he claims the sanctuary of the church, but Frollo just makes grinch his teeth by getting mad. Like this. Oh, and Esmeralda don't want to see that. So, so, so uh, Esmeralda, I mean, I meant was Frollo hide behind somewhere. Before that, and he told Phoebus to drag her outside, but Phoebus is not going to do that. No more dragging outside from the from the sanctuary of the church. Nobody. So, 
Quasi, Esmeralda wanted to see Quasimodo because she saw him outside before. Mm-hmm. And after that, Esmeralda looked all over the sanctuary and then, and then he went, she went up to the bell tower to meet up with Quasi. Is it? And Quasimodo ran, ran away and then Esmeralda ran after him and she wanted to talk to him. Well, it was morning. I mean, then uh, Esmeralda wanted to look all over the bell tower. Then uh, Quasimodo take a tour of the bell tower and see what caused the bell. And she show, he, he showed Quasimodo the bells, the big, beautiful bells. And then, well, and he, he, Quasimodo showed, you know, the names of them. He, he said this, little Sophia, I mean, little Sophia, Jimmy, Emily, Elizabeth. And he, and she saw the biggest bell. And he Quasimodo named her Big Marie. Wow, they're gold and beautiful. <laughs> so he, he show her outside to look at the whole sunset. The sunset is beautiful. Yeah, the whole clouds are around it. Yeah, it was awesome. So, but I had a plan. I mean, but Quasimodo had a plan. And Quasimodo, uh, Quasimodo wanted to know about anything about her. And Quasimodo, Esmeralda said, you're the prize of person, Quasimodo. But she were they Quasimodo tell Esmeralda about what about about what the Frollo say about her. But he said Quasimodo Esmeralda is a beautiful gypsy. But uh, Frollo been talking negative things about Esmeralda. She he said that she thinks she is evil and wicked. But she's not the Quasimodo. Frollo just crazy. How could him? And he and she said, "How could him? Somebody raise a raise a hunchback like him." Hmm. But Esmeralda has an idea. Quasimodo will climb her down and then. Esmeralda will run somewhere safe to, to the pot of miracles. Place of, full of miracles. And then, uh, well, the next night, Esmeralda brought Phoebus up to the bell tower to hide him. But this, the, they can, this is the ne necklace that, um, that Esmeralda gave her, gave Esmer Quasimodo to, to find her where she's going to be at. Well, well, after she left, her, I mean, Quasimodo and Phoebus gonna help 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 Phoebus find a powder of mir place full of miracles. So, so Phoebus and Quasimodo go far away from the bell tower from the Notre Dame and and go to the pile of miracles to place where the gypsies were hiding. So, so all the gypsies found out, found out that think they were spies, but, but Esmeralda showed up and then, but uh, they're not spies, they're friends. Why didn't they say so? But they did say so. 
but but they came to warn them warn both of you that Rolo is coming their way they knows where they're hiding and then they're gonna at dawn they're gonna get to a burn down with Times Square at the burning of thousands of, of men to burn the whole France <gasps> oh no that's bad and then Frollo showed up Oh, no, with all the miracles is his at last. But and they wanted to arrest the gypsies. But and then and they put Quasimodo back to the bell tower and send off the soldiers. Make sure he stays there. <gasps> well, the next night, <gasps> they're in outside of Notre Dame. Esmeralda was tied up in a stick. Uh, tied up and and Frollo wanted to wanted to kill. He made announcements about this gypsy woman is a uh, evil and wicked. And then the he said, The time has come, gypsy. And then and then even though it's not too late, I could save you from everything and the next. Choose me. Or the fire. And then Esmeralda spit on Frollo's face. Frollo is bad. <coughs> then Quasimodo will not let that happen. So, as Frollo is about to burn Esmeralda to death, so Quasimodo break the chains off and and climb down the down the bell tower. I mean climb down from the building of the bell tower from, and got to the ground. Then they got up the up the stage and, and got get Esmeralda off and and climb and picked her up and take her back take her up to the bell towers where she bring her safe. And then she grabbed her and she said, "He said sanctuary, sanctuary, yes." Then Quasimodo saw that that he saved Esmeralda. Frollo was furious that Quasimodo saved Esmeralda's life. But it was a good thing. Heroes save people's life. Just like that. And Frollo has a problem with that. Then Frollo will... Then, uh... Uh, Phoebus will have to let any, the gypsy out and let all the old people get inside the sanctuary to where, go somewhere safe, safe to find a place to hide. So... Everybody went in, and then, and then they start fighting, and and all the others went went inside, punched the soldiers in the face, boom. And then the and he went inside the build, building. All of them, the people are safe. All the gypsies and the people are safe. Everybody's okay. Yeah. So. Frollo ordered the man, his man to pick, pick it up the bean and break down the door. While the door is locked up, and they're trying to lock the door, they're trying to break down the door. So Quasimodo put him, put Esmeralda to safety, and then they he uh, used the oil and bowl can he, to to pour the the ball through the stat statues through the gargoyle's mouth to pour it down to the ground to destroy all the soldiers. Soldier. And Frollo went out the way. It went inside. Then he went up upstairs to the bell tower. And then Frollo came inside. Quasimodo think that Frollo killed her. As as Frollo is about to kill Quasimodo, he will not let it happen. So he pushed Frollo to the side. He will not let him kill him because and this is what Quasimodo is going to say. No, no, I mean before that, Frollo said, "Listen to me, Quasimodo. No, you listen. All my life, you told me the world a dark, cruel place. And then he, and then he, he can't stand Frollo anymore. Frollo become a villain."
He's a bad guy. <laughs> so, they saw that Esmeralda is a wake up from, he, he lives. I mean, she lives. So, Esmeralda and Quasimodo ran away from Frollo. So, so Esmeralda ran somewhere to hide. So Esmeralda, Esmer Esmeralda is hiding. So Frollo just furiously mad, and Quasimodo got mad too. He said he should have known he risked his life to save that gypsy witch. But he's not a he's she's not a witch. She's just a gypsy woman. This is what he said. I should have known you risked your life to save that gypsy witch. So does your own mother die trying to save you? <gasps> Quasimodo could not hear, could not believe what he said. He and Quasimodo said, "What? Now, now he's gonna and then." Then he said for the last time before he started fighting, now I'm gonna do what I should have done 20 years ago. So, as Frollo is about to get, get Esmeralda, so he lost his grip and dropped his sword and, and then he fell into, the, fell into the streets below, far, far away down into the oil. Then he's gone. Well, after the battle's all, after Frollo's gone forever. So everybody is, is completely safe. So the next day, at the end, everybody is safe and sound and all happy again. So, well, that's what's gonna happen at the end of that. And that's the whole thing is going to be about in the movie of the live action, The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Oh, yeah. So, I want to thank y'all for listening. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and see how see how the video is. And, tell, and what do you think of that? Well, thank y'all for listening. Well, have a good day.